Oh boy, I love that sound. What is up guys, it's Rampage coming at you with another video, and in today's video guys, we're going to be taking a look at the 2022 NFL Mock Draft for the Detroit Lions. But before we get into today's mock, if you are new to the channel, please remember to leave a like and subscribe because it always does help me out. And share with other Lions fans, I want to hear your guys' opinion. With the second pick in the 2022 NFL Draft, I have the Detroit Lions selecting Aiden Hutchinson, defensive end, Michigan. Now it should be noted that this basically is a coin flip pick. The Lions could also select defensive end Kayvon Thibodeau from Oregon, depending on what the Jacksonville Jaguars do at number one overall. However, I think they're going to end up picking Evan Neal, offensive tackle from Alabama, so it leaves the Lions perfectly in set to pick Aiden Hutchinson. At 6'6", 265, Hutchinson is an instant game wrecker. He's a more refined and developed pass rusher compared to Kayvon, and also the type of player that is traditional with his hand in the dirt with comparables to J.J. Watt. And where I get really excited about Aiden Hutchinson is his just sheer strength. His ability to rush the passer and his bull rush against offensive tackles and even tight ends, and just his unrelenting force to bring the passer down. And this boy, for being that big, has a 4.62 40 time, so he's going to catch you one way or another. And lastly, he's a freaking MCDC player, man. Like, I don't know how else to say it. And don't be surprised if the Lions actually get this guy when he has the highest floor and comparatively a similar higher ceiling as a player. The pick that the Lions got from the LA Rams could range from number 24 to number 28. With that being said, this pick is going to be dicey. And for a while, I was going back and forth between linebacker and wide receiver because the Lions really need both, especially linebacker. However, with the 28th pick in the NFL draft, I have the Detroit Lions selecting Traylon Burks, wide receiver, Arkansas. And this pick was something that was really interesting for me because wide receiver has not been a pressing issue for the Detroit Lions lately. With the emergence of Amon Ross St. Brown and Josh Reynolds picking up major, major headways for the Lions, they only need one more piece, I think, on offense to be set for a little bit. And what's not to like about Traylon Burks, he's a pure freaking athlete, man. At 6'3", 225, Burks kind of almost reminds me like a superhuman like DK Metcalf. His strength and length enable him to rip the ball away in contested catches. Just his overall speed alone with a 4.3 to 4.4 40 yard time would make him an instant target on the outside. He's great at being elusive and his yards after the catch are unbelievable. However, one of the biggest knocks that I will give this guy is he has a very limited limited route tree, uh, especially on medium routes like digs, fade sits, and outs. But I mean, he will obviously be an instant upgrade at the wide receiver position, and if Antoine Randall L gets his hands on this guy, this guy's routes will become a lot crisper, and he will be our wide receiver number one. With the 34th pick in the draft, I have the Detroit Lions selecting Chad Muma, linebacker, Wyoming. And for many of you, you're going to be like, who the hell is this guy? Well, I was basically the same way up until I saw his tape. That and the fact that N'Kobe Dean and Devin Lloyd are probably gone at this point. But by in no means, you are settling on Chad. At 6'3", 242, Muma has absolutely exploded this year with him ranking number four in the country for solo tackles, 10th in total tackles overall, and leading the nation at Wyoming for interceptions returned for touchdowns at two. And while the Lions defense has shifted to a 3-4 from a 4-3 in previous years, Muma is the perfect linebacker to play on the outside and play all three downs. Pairing him with Derek Barnes, he's gonna be really good at the point of attack. He's really, really quick and rarely misses tackles. All in all, I just really love his aggressiveness and I really want to see another linebacker succeed with the Lions and maybe maybe we got our next DeAndre Levy here. The only really true knock I will give Chad is his consistency. He's exploded this year but his past three years have not been great for the Cowboys. With the 64th pick in the NFL draft I have the Detroit Lions selecting Jordan Battle, safety Alabama. With Lewis signed from Georgia probably already being gone and Verone McKinley the third, I'm not totally sold on just because of his small frame. Jordan Battle is coming out of one of the hottest producing schools around the country for producing top tier safeties. That and the fact that we don't know if Tracy Walker is even signing again with the Lions next year or if he still can play at the top tier. Battle is a complete staple of what you want at a safety at 6'1", 220 pounds. Battle can pretty much play in any defensive scheme, whether it's man-to-man -man or zone. He has really good eye discipline. 
speed and length to stay with any slot receiver or tight end and he has really effective burst in the pass rush i doubt he'll slip this far though if the lions do get lucky enough to pick him i hope they get him the obvious biggest negative that i have with him is he is a bit too aggressive um so that can be coached down a little bit it's kind of scary <laughs> With the 97th pick in the NFL Draft, I have the Detroit Lions selecting Bailey Zappi, quarterback, Western Kentucky. By no means is Bailey Zappi the long-term solution at quarterback. However, you need to develop a substantial backup QB to Jared Goff. And I know Tim Boyle and David Blau are really nice guys, but I'm sorry guys, you are out of town. What's really great about Zappi is he's very light on his feet. He's able to sense the pressure from either side of the pocket and step up and throw in tight windows, especially short yardage gains. And Western Kentucky is known for their long passing offense. So when Zappi throws the ball down deep, he's able to complete most passes over 40 yards. He's 6'1", 220 pounds with a 4.7 40 yard time. And his great mobility has led him to over 700 yards in rushing this season. And what you really want in a backup quarterback that Zappi has presented is confidence. You want to be able to have a guy step in the huddle and take a command of the offense. And I think Zappi would be an excellent choice with this pick. Now you're probably like, where are the rest of the draft guys? I honestly don't know what they're gonna do after the third round. There's a lot of options. There's a lot of depth pieces they can pick up. I'm gonna leave this for an open discussion in my comments for the rest of the rounds. It's about to be January. I could see them adding more depth pieces at wide receiver, tight end, and even offensive line. But until we see a couple free agents come in, I can't give you a bold prediction what they're gonna do from five through seven. But if you guys did like this video, please remember to leave a like because more people will see it. I really enjoyed doing the Lions. If you guys want to see anything else you can always tell me down below and i'll be more than happy to do a video on a certain topic player or team but anyway guys i'll catch you in the next one